What's happening? It's Shane here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top 10 bachelor's degrees for 2022. Right, so I talk about all different types of careers and college degrees on this channel, but in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on bachelor's degrees. Now, bachelor's degrees are my favorite type. I think that you get the most bang for your buck. You get the best return on your investment with these degrees. But with that being said, some of them are better than others. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top 10, in my opinion, after I've done a ton of research. And I'm even gonna be including my version 2.0 of the college degree ranker. And I can tell you without a doubt, this is the best possible resource on college degrees that has ever been created. Usually only my college 101 students have access to this, but I'm actually gonna be sharing the rankings today in this video, so stay tuned for that. So let's jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Number 10 on the list is going to be a technology-related bachelor's degree, and that is going to be information technology. So this could be information technology or information technology management, and about 9,000 people graduated with this degree last year. Now, when it comes to the statistics, you're gonna make about $55,000 a year starting out, and 92,000 in mid-career pay. That's pretty good, but it is one of the lower salaries on the list. However, you will likely be working in the technology industry, which has a lot of benefits. So a lot of the time you are gonna be getting bonuses, stock options, uh, quality of life is gonna be relatively good because your job satisfaction is gonna be pretty high. And there's also a lot of other just random benefits that you get a lot of the time when you work in tech. Now, when it comes to the demand score, this one is actually the second highest on the entire list. The demand score is 137. Now, when we were designing this degree ranker, uh, we decided to put the demand score, the top rank at 100, but there were certain degrees that were just so good when it came to demand that we actually expanded it above 100, and this is one of them. The other degree on the list that has a demand score that's even higher is another technology-related degree, go figure. But yeah, this can be a really fantastic one. One thing I will say about technology-related degrees and careers in general is there's a little bit of an asterisk right next to them because of the fact that there are multiple different ways of becoming, for instance, a computer programmer or a software developer. A really safe way of doing it is to get your computer science degree. That's a great way to do it. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing that at all. However, in many cases, there are easier methods of getting into a lot of these different careers like information technology. That doesn't mean that the degree is bad. It just means that there are alternative ways depending on your situation that you might be able to pursue. Number nine on the list is going to be a good old healthcare degree, and that is going to be nursing, a BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing. This one starts off at 60,000 a year and 79,000 in mid-career pay. Super flexible degree, tons of different career paths you can go down. The demand score, I believe, is the third highest on this list at 135, and the meaning score is a fantastic 80 83%. I believe that's the highest on the entire list. And that tends to be a very good indicator of how happy you're going to be with your career long term. So yeah, nursing, fantastic option. Uh, one thing you can do with nursing is let's say you want to get more on the business side of things. A lot of the time you can move up in hospital administration. Let's say you want to get more specialized training. You can be uh, get your master's, become a nurse practitioner, which is another fantastic career. If you want to get even more specialized training, there's going to be different options. Like you can get certified to become a nurse anesthesiologist. And if you want even more specialized training, you can get your doctorate in nursing as well. A lot of options for you. Always nice to have a career and a degree that is extremely flexible. You would have to work within the healthcare field, but there are a lot of options there. Number eight on the list is another degree that is super flexible, and that's why I included it on the list, and that is going to be mechanical engineering. This is gonna be the first engineering degree that we talk about. There's gonna be several on the list, no surprise. And this is probably the most flexible engineering degree. So last year, about 32,000 people graduated with this degree. Early career pays 66,000, mid-career pays 110,000. So the salary there, very nice. Anytime you can get above six figures, that's good. The demand score is 105, so very good. Um, it's actually one of the lower 
ones on this list, but that's just because this list is chuck full of like super, super good degrees. The next one on the list is also going to be an engineering degree, and it's also going to be very flexible as well. And this one is kind of a dark horse candidate that I have seen just get better and better, and I'm extremely bullish on its future, and that is industrial engineering. Last year, about 5,000 people graduated with this degree. Early career pay, 67,000. Mid career pay is 110,000, according to pay scale. And the demand score is 101. And this is another one where you're gonna be learning those engineering skills. You're also gonna be learning a lot of business skills as well. That is just a really, really good combination. Speaking of business, that's gonna be the next one on the list management information systems. Now, this is one that is relatively new, only about 7,000 graduates last year. Now, there's two things that I have to assume with this list, and this is something that I didn't necessarily assume in previous years. The first one is that difficulty doesn't matter, right? So if you choose a degree and something that you're really passionate about, chances are you can figure out a way to get it done. Maybe it takes you an extra year, but that's totally fine. If you're passionate about it, you will persevere. You'll figure out a way to get it done. So I took difficulty out of the equation. If difficulty was added into the equation with this year's list, uh, engineering degrees would rank lower because there is a pretty high dropout rate. With that being said, I pretty much took it out of the equation, but if you're somebody who wants a degree that's maybe not quite as hard, business degrees do tend to be you know, easier when you compare them to a lot of the really hard ones like engineering degrees. And management information systems is fantastic. So it basically combines business skills with technology skills. So with this one, you're gonna start off about $60,000 a year and mid-career pay is going to be 105,000. So super good salary score. Um, you would likely work in the technology industry, which has all those benefits that I talked about earlier. It's also incredibly flexible. You can work for just about any company and in any industry in a ton of different positions. Now the demand score is a very nice 113.61, but check this out. 7,000 graduates, 39,000 listings had the keyword management information systems degrees in the listings themselves. So 7,000 graduates, 39,000 job listings. That is a very good sign. And that's one of the reasons why I am so bullish on this degree. It's very good now, and I think it's gonna be even better in the future. Number five on the list is not gonna be a specific degree, but it's gonna be a degree tracked, and that's going to be pre-professional degree studies. Now, this isn't gonna be like all professional degrees, right? Because some of them aren't as good as others. A uh, lawyer is one example of one that's kind of saturated. It's not quite as good anymore more, um, very competitive as well. However, there are many professional degrees out there, medical doctor being one of them, where there is a pre-med tract or a pre-pharmacy tract or a pre-this or a pre-that tract. So one example would be physician assistant studies, somebody who is taking the classes needed to become a physician assistant, now known as physician associate. And as a physician associate, you'd make about $115,000 a year, and there is ridiculously good demand for this one. It's about 31%. The average is around 4 to 5% growth over the next 10 years. So it's like six or seven times higher than average. Really, really good option. Again, some of the professional degrees are better than others. One way that I like to explain professional degrees is they're almost a combination of the trades and then a traditional college education. So you're getting the degree in order to do a very specific job or a very specific career, just like you would in the trades, but it is also something that does require that in-class training. And just like trade careers, professional careers, professional degrees, do tend to pay very well. Number four on the list is going to be another degree that's relatively flexible, and that is electrical engineering. About 16,000 people graduated with this one last year, and many of them are going to end up going into the technology industry, which I mentioned before, fantastic industry to work in. You're gonna start off at $70,000 a year, mid-career pays about 119,000. And the demand score here is 109, so again, very solid. This one is also relatively flexible compared to the next one. Now, this is where I talk about the second thing that I have to assume whenever I'm making these videos, and that is that you've done your due diligence and you make sure 
that you're going for a degree that's going to lead you to a career that you actually, you know, want to spend a significant amount of your life doing. So one danger of going for very specific degrees is sometimes you end up changing your mind. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. Things happen in life. Maybe you meet someone, you get married, you move somewhere. You know, you have to find a certain type of job because, you know, jobs are only a certain way in this place and your degree doesn't work like that. All kinds of different things can happen. And so a lot of the time, it's best to just stick with a more flexible degree. However, with that being said, if you've really done your due diligence and you know exactly what you're going for, uh, going for that more specific degree can be the better choice. So if you're not 100% certain, which one you're going to go for, but you know that you maybe want to go into the technology industry, electrical engineering can be a very good choice. However, the next ones on the list are slightly better if you know exactly what careers you're going for. Number three is going to be computer engineering. This one had about 7,000 graduates last year. Starts off at 72,000, 120,000 mid-career pay. You'd also likely work in technology. This one tends to be more on the hardware side of things, although many computer engineers end up working in software as well. And this one does actually have the highest salary on this entire list. And the demand score is also very, very good at 107. So yeah, really good option. Next one on the list, very similar to the previous two, that is going to be number two, software engineering. Starts off about 69,000, mid-career pay is 112,000. So very good pay. Uh, the demand score is I think the third or the fourth highest on the list, super, super good at 127. However, check out one thing here. There's a thousand graduates per year However, there is 77,000 job listings that mention software engineering degree as a keyword. And usually I use either monster.com or indeed.com to look these up. That is absolutely insane. And that is a sign that this is a skill that is not only good now, but it's going to be even better in the future because there's so much demand for it. So I wouldn't be surprised if the demand score goes up five to 10 years from now, not down. It seems to be on an upward trajectory, not the other way around. And honestly, the only reason this one isn't number one is because number one is just a little bit more well known, and that is, of course, computer science. About 22,000 graduates last year for this one. Pay, very nice, $68,000 a year starting out, 114,000 in mid-career pay. And there is 153,000 job listings that mention computer science degree. That is a demand score of 154. Highest demand score not only on this list, but on the entire list, period. So yeah, ridiculous demand, ridiculously valuable skill to learn. Computer science and programming is one of the few skills where one person can, you know, write some type of code, create, you know, some type of software or a website, etc., that can reach millions of people. So it has basically infinite leverage. There's not that many skills out there that have infinite leverage. Uh, creating videos is another skill. Maybe marketing, sales-ish, maybe kind of, is another one, and that's about all. So yeah, content creation, uh, learning how to code, and sales slash marketing skills. Those are pretty much the three only skills. Maybe you could say optimization as well, like optimizing a business, optimizing and growing a business, entrepreneurship. The, yeah, just a few skills have the ability to basically have infinite leverage. And computer programming is one of them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other ones right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.